Reagan here at Soldier Field for a very special anniversary. It was 40 years ago this summer, 1968, that right there in Soldier Field, a couple hundred athletes and about 50 spectators and their families gathered for the first ever Special Olympic Games. Well, now, here in 2008, it has grown to be a worldwide organization, almost 200 countries, hundreds of thousands of athletes, millions of dollars of support, and all of it being recognized for when it started right here in the great city of Chicago. And how old are you, Amelia? 51. 51 years old. Now, did I hear right that in 1968, you were here participating in the very first Special Olympics? The very first Special Olympics when I was 10. When I, when I did the, my event of running, the 50 meter dash, I did standing long jump, I did bowling, I did softball throw, I did powerlifting, and I've been doing special sports in 40 years. Skinny, this is a pretty special day. Uh, I was here for uh, the ceremony and heard everybody speak, you know, so eloquently and emotionally. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, this historic anniversary? Well, this is uh, the 40th anniversary of Special Olympics is really something because actually uh, talking to Chris Kennedy and Tim Shriver, they say that you can go to almost any country in the world and they know that Special Olympics began in Chicago. There's 175 countries that participate now. And if you go to almost all those countries, they have never heard of the Bears or the Cubs or the White Sox or the Bulls or the Hawks but they all know that Special Olympics came from Chicago. It's something that will be remembered, I think, forever. It's, uh, it was the, really the civil rights movement for the people with disabilities, and it has spread all over the world. Bob Lanigan here out in front of Soldier Field, a very special day and a very special lady who started it all 40 years ago. Ann Burke, tell me a little bit about where we were 40 years ago and how that all came about and where we've gotten to today. Well, if you talk about persons with disabilities, just think and picture this. There was no education for persons with disabilities. There was no park program. They were literally in the closet. And the park district started a program in 1965 and said, come on out to our parks. And I volunteered as a young phys ed teacher at the time just to teach tap dancing, baton twirling, track and field, basketball, because that's what I loved was basketball. And my kids learned, just like anybody else. And I think it was, one of, it was the first time that I think parents and the rest of society realized that we had a lot more going with abilities than disabilities with our special population. And so now we're here 40 years later, what do we have? We have education for persons with disabilities. They're working, they're contributing members of society. And this is a global program.